डॉक्टर संग्राम शिंदे फ्रॉम मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ए आय टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग ऑटोनॉमस कोल्हापूर टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द गॅस टर्बाईन पॉवर प्लांट इन आवर कंट्री गॅस टर्बाईन पॉवर प्लांट दिस इज द बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ गॅस टर्बाईन पॉवर प्लांट यू कॅन सी दिस इज द ब्रिटन सायकल ऑन विच गॅस टर्बाईन पॉवर प्लांट इज वर्किंग यू कॅन सी हियर the basic components of the gas turbine power plant it is a compressor combustion chamber and turbine it is a open cycle so it is working on the breton cycle it is the basic cycle on the first one fresh air we are taken from outside environment in the compressor it is a compressed to the particular pressure and then it is entered in the combustion chamber in the combustion chamber the fuel is added and air fuel ratio is maintained and the burning will be takes place and then this gas will be entered in the turbine in the turbine the gas will be expanded due to which the turbine will be start to rotate and uh, this turbine it is connected generally to the generator so electricity is generated in that and then after expansion what is the exhaust gas is going outside to the environment the turbine is connected to the compressor so that what is the input required to the to run the compressor it is given by the turbine so this is the we can say basic working of any uh, gas turbine power plant these are the basic components in that it is open cycle in a closed cycle uh, the heat exchangers are used for the combustion and uh, heat uh, rejection for the heat rejection after the exhaust and uh, what is the gas we are using in that we are continuously circulated in the that particular system like argon gas is there so the uh, gas will be entered uh, in the in the closed system the gas will be entered in the compressor it is compressed and it is going to the combustion chamber where it is not going to mix with the fuel so there is a heat exchanger around the pipe Uh, through which the uh, argon gas or what is the gas we are selected it is circulated around this the combustion will be takes place so that heat transfer will be takes place to the gas which is circulated and from combustion chamber itself what are the exhaust gases are going to the environment then after given the heat the argon or what is the gas we are using it is entered in the turbine and then it is expanded and after expansion Uh, it will be given to this uh, the electricity is generated by the generator because turbine is connected to the uh, generator and then this gas will be again going outside it is a closed loop so that uh, exhaust gas in the open cycle what we are doing we are uh, exhaust gas will be exhausted to the environment but here this gas is again coming into the uh, heat exchanger and in heat exchanger the heat is released because in heat exchanger again what is the gas which is circulated around this the cold water or any uh, we can say fluid for cooling the gas will be circulated and the heat is rejected here and again it is entered in the compressor so same gas will be circulated continuously in the closed cycle uh, gas turbine power plant so this is the breton cycle you can see what are the uh, processes are shown there are four processes isentropic compression in compressor constant pressure heat addition in uh, combust combust uh, combustor or combustion chamber isentropic expansion in turbine and constant pressure heat rejection it is not shown in that particular diagram but in the closed system after exhaust the heat exchanger will be added and where the constant pressure heat rejection will be takes place so these are the processes which are takes place in the gas turbine power plant you can see this is the process and generally in the uh, jet pro propulsion Uh, we can say uh, this process uh, where, where these three uh, components generally we are using at the first compressor is there then combustion chamber and the uh, turbine will be there so we can say this uh, generally for jet propulsion we are using uh, these four processes intake compressor combustor turbine so these are the uh, we can say com basic components of any gas turbine power plant so this is the systems inlet system is there in which the cold uh, or the uh, air will be taken inside in compressor we are seen with a proper compression ratio we are compressing it then combustor and uh, 
gas uh, producer turbine power turbine is there and exhaust system so we already discussed this so these systems are added next what are the advantages uh, to because it having the great power to weight ratio compared to the reciprocating engines so it having the power to weight ratio means as compared to the weight it gives more power as compared to the other reciprocating engines we can say smaller than their reciprocating counterparts of same power so it is a smaller and uh, we can say what are the reciprocating parts which are available in other turbines these are less so and low lower emission level uh, in that particular gas turbine power plant and these are the uh, disadvantages expensive uh, because generally we are operating on the uh, natural gas tends to use more fuel when they are at idling and they prefer a constant rather than a fluctuating load isn't it so fluctuating load is there then there is a problem they, it is not give a more much more uh, required power so these are the somewhat disadvantages so what are the basic uh, of the gas turbine what is the present scenario if you see uh, the gas is available in somewhat uh, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Assam uh, basins where we are extracting gas. I think good example is the Trombe in uh, Mumbai uh, about 62 kilometer inside the sea. There is a Trombe where we are extracting the natural gas and natural oil also. So generally where are the natural gas, uh, natural oil reserves there we are getting the natural gas. So generally what, what happens the natural gas we are using for the other purposes first. We can say for the industrial purpose or any metallurgical industries we are using this is natural gas. So uh, the natural gas we are using for another application so it is less utilized for the power generation. So if you see the gas turbine power plant which is introduced in our, ind uh, uh, in our country it is about 25,000 megawatt it is generated isn't it. So you can see these are the some names in our country and there uh, we can say uh, somewhat names these are the some private companies are also there and uh, these are the uh, gas turbine power plants which are available with their capacity and the states are also mentioned here. So Dadri is there, Aurya, Anta, Kawas, Paridabad, Dadri is there these are the some names uh, of the power plants which are available in our country. But due to the constraint we already seen the natural gas or clean gas generally we are using for other purposes rather uh, uh, than this gas power generation. So uh, gas power turbine power plant generates about 25,000 megawatt. Uh, ma maximum power which we uh, which is coming in our country we already discussed. It is from uh, thermal power plant. It is a coal based thermal power plant. Okay, so this is the private sector in our uh, country. It is a Keynes Energy is there. Reliance is also there. Oil India Limited is there. Indian Oil Corporation Limited is there oil and natural gas ONGC I think uh, one news I think you have heard about this that ONGC got one uh, place in the Orissa basin in the inside the sea uh, offshores we are getting somewhat oil reserves and gas reserves. So ONGC is the uh, Indian corporation which is always searching for this new uh, we can say locations where we can get the natural gas and oil HPCL is also there engineering engineers India limited. BPCL is there, Premier Oil, Adani Group, Siemens uh, Cars, Carvers are there, Tata Power is there, Torrent Power is there, CLP India Private Limited. These are the some names. Also, I think ONGC, it is the government uh, agency, but other, other are the private agencies, private companies are there. In 1995, Indian government uh, make open this, uh, we can say, power generation area sector for the private companies. Before that, only the somewhat uh, Indian corporations like NTPC, NHPC, NPCIL is there for the nuclear power plant. These are the only ONGC is there. These are the only companies, uh, the Indian government companies are there. So they are working in that particular power generation uh, sector. But after 1995, the sector is open for the private companies. So number of private companies are working in that. I think everyone knows that uh, Reliance Power is there. They were uh, given one Rajasthan to Gujarat, one pipeline is already uh, constructed by the Reliance Power to uh, convey the uh, natural gas because also uh, CNG terminals are constructed open. Why the CNG uh, terminal? It is a compressed natural gas. 
because to convey or to transport the natural gas it is really uh, we can say uh, it is very difficult so in that case what we are doing we we are uh, we have the cng terminals we are compressing the gas we are uh, uh, in the liquid then uh, this liquid can be easily transported by pipelines by uh, we can say transporters by transport by roads we can transport it very easily and then when we are reaching at the destination where we are going to use this gas again it is uh, we can say converted into the gas and again we can utilize so cng terminals are required in that case so this is the present scenario in our country that uh, like now uh, gujarat rajasthan and uh, assam these are the basins where we are using this again very less uh, quantities there we, which we are uh, generating or we are extracting from the earth other uh, like us uh, iran iraq we already seen arabian countries are there they have the more reserves and more natural gas we have to rely on that we have to import more and more again uh, uh, so uh, even if we are searching number of location where the uh, gas is available number of uh, we can say uh, private companies are also are always uh, doing the job to extracting the oil and natural gas from the basin first one we have to locate the location and then uh, extraction is takes place so this is the general uh, we can say review of any gas turbine power plant nowadays if you see what is the present scenario it is the uh, we can say uh, somewhat uh, combined cycle power plant is there now because what is the constraint if you see this uh, we already seen the diagram of any combustion uh, the gas turbine power plant here what happens what is the uh, air we are taken ins uh, inside the com uh, compressor and it is going to the combustion chamber whole air is not utilized in the combustion process only we can say about 75 percent air uh, it is uh, takes place uh, the, take a part in that particular uh, combustion process remaining uh, air we are using to reduce the temperature of uh, combustion gases because very high combustion temperature will be there in the combustion chamber there is a research is going on which material they are using for the combustion chamber because very high temperature uh, is generated in the combustion chamber so generally 25 percent which is remaining air in the combustion chamber generally we are using to uh, cool that gas so a lot of oxygen is present generally we are, what is the gas which is entered in the turbine so this is the first constraint second one uh, we can say what is the exhaust of the gas turbine it having the lot of oxygen it having the lot of uh, um, uh, heat also so that this heat and uh, oxygen is uh, wasted to the environment so it can be utilized again we can introduce one combustion chamber after after the gas turbine uh, power plant where we are added the heat again because oxygen is there so this oxygen will be uh, give the support for the combustion pro process then this uh, heated or we can say we can raise the temperature and heated gas will be entered in the heat recovery boiler heat recovery boiler means what what is this gas which is the temperature is raised about we can say 350 degree 400 degree it is coming in the heat recovery boiler where we are circulating the water like a boiler so this uh, in that re heat recovery boiler we are getting the steam by getting the heat from this gas and this gas is uh, going to the environment and heat is given to the water so that it generates the steam and this steam again we are using in the steam turbine power plant so nowadays what are the uh, power plants which are available in our country these are nowadays in combined cycle power plant combined cycle means what both gas turbine power plant what is the exhaust we are uh, already discussed again we are connected to the steam turbine power plant because very high quantity of air and heat is released wasted which we have to recover in the uh, heat recovery boiler and again the second uh, steam turbine power plant we can run so all these power plants gas turbine power plants which are available in our country nowadays they are running as a combined cycle power plant you can see the list on the google you can search on the google you are getting what are the power plants which are available in our country okay so this is the present scenario uh, we can say uh, in our country regarding to the gas turbine power plant so uh, but it is a clean energy we have to rely on that but again there is a constraint that we cannot use whole natural gas uh, for the only power generation that is the main constraint okay okay thank you